All right, so let's, let's summarize querying. Let's summarize the, idea, the ideas that I've talked about. First of all, a query is a question. A question against, in our case, the Google index. So I said that Google goes out and indexes all these things, it puts it in its cache, it makes this enormous alphabetical list of words with citing where it came from, that's the web page as well as the position on the web page. And any different thing that you type in the Google box or you type, uh, any, any single thing that you type in the Google box is going to be a question that's asked against that index. And the way the, the, way the, the question is phrased determines how it asks the question against the index. If I put that word and in between the word, excuse me, if I put spaces, which Google interprets as an and between the words, then it's going to say, find me web pages that have both of those words in my index. So the web page has to have word A and word B. If I say or between them, it's going to say, find me all the web pages that either have this term or have that term, returning more results. If I say not, it'll say, find me this web page that has this word but cannot have this word, and all that information is contained in that index. It's all contained in the full text index of the, uh, that, that Google maintains. And so that index is really pretty cool. And it can answer pretty much any question that you want to ask about it. Okay, so we've talked, about, uh, we've talked about two of the three big subjects in Google search. One is indexing, the second is querying, the third one we need to talk about is results. You issue a query, it finds the right pages, it says, oh, it's on these 9,375 pages, then how does it tell you that it's on those 9 million pages? And really, most importantly, which page does it put first as the one that it thinks 